In this video, I'm going to go through our largest and most complicated questionnaire, the MINI. Once you've opened up a subject record, you can find the MINI within their study forms within the first visit. It's called the MINI 7.0.2. All that's within the MINI is a button to create a fresh MINI report. You can change the name of the report, but you can't change what report is being created, and it's always going to be attached to this first visit. Once you create it, it gets opened up. It takes a moment because it's rather large. Um, I'm going to go back for a moment. I'm going to close this report just to show that while that report that we just created was through this study dialog, since it is a report, if I go into the reports section, I can find that report created on 2.4, that's today, and open it from there if I needed to resume where it was left off or something. So the very first page of the mini is the screener. The screener is a, just a bunch of yes-no questions asking the participant about symptoms that they may have experienced, which then determines which of these numerous modules you will go through with the participant. So I'm going to set the date, and then I'll start filling out some of these questions. It doesn't matter in this particular instance when I'm picking some of these questions by compared together. For instance, the first two ask about symptoms for a single module, module A. So if the participant says yes to either of those questions, you would be going through module A. Some of them are just single questions where they have to say yes to one, and if they say no to it, they won't go through that module. Regardless, it doesn't matter, or you don't need to know which questions are paired together because once you reach the very end, and have finished answering these questions, this modules to complete should, there we go, give you some text telling you exactly which modules you will be finishing. So this automatically looks at and says, okay, did the participant endorse the proper screening question required to go through this particular module? Or if that module had more than one screener question, did they endorse either of them or both of them? You'll notice that there are these strange bracketed BR slashes here. This is a glitch from Castor that I've been contacting them about and as of yet there's no easy solution to remove that but otherwise it's still fairly legible to see that okay so we'll need to complete module a we won't need to complete module b we will need to complete module c and d and so on and so forth um, when running a participant it may be beneficial to write this list down on like a checklist or something or a post it um, just so that you don't have to keep jumping back to the screener to remind yourself which of these modules you're going to need to complete. So I'm going to jump to module A as our first example module, and as you saw when I first clicked on it, there are these calculation fields that were already doing some sort of calculation. They're essentially like, this one is rather self-explanatory, is A1A or A2A coded yes. Since neither of them are, it's currently a no. Many of these modules are full of these calculations, so sometimes you'll just have to take it a bit slow, let them do their thing, and run through and come up with an answer before you start clicking, just so that you don't screw Caster up, because sometimes it can be a little finicky when it has all of these calculations that it's trying to compute all at once. So if I said no for this, first question, nothing in particular happens, but if I say yes to this next question, not only did this populate now to a yes automatically, but now a follow-up question has appeared. And before I answer that follow-up question, I'm going to move down a little bit and show that all of these questions that just appeared pertain to over the most symptomatic two-week episode in the past when you felt depressed or uninterested. So this is asking about the most symptomatic past episode. Since I said yes to this screener question about lifetime symptoms, if I then say yes to the screener question about current symptoms, 
now there's a block of the exact same questions, but this is pertaining to over the past two weeks. And those questions about the most symptomatic episode in their lifetime have been pushed down. So as you can see, the mini modules are very dynamic, depending on what questions you answer yes to. Different sections, sometimes individual questions, and sometimes entire sections of questions will pop up that need to be then answered. I'm just going to fill in some questions semi-randomly. And see, I was clicking too fast. <laughs> Sometimes when you click through caster too fast, dialog boxes will pop up like this. You're changing the value for a field with dependent fields. Are you sure you want to clear the stored value for all of these fields? I don't want to clear that. This is actually a glitch. I wasn't actually trying to clear anything or to, I wasn't changing any value. I was giving fields that did not have values, new values. So I'm going to say cancel change because in actuality, that was not something I wanted to have happen, but that was my fault. I was clicking too fast. To give it a moment to think about what it's doing. Cancel changes. All right, so now that I've reached the very bottom, many of the modules in the mini have this module O. This is, in the paper version, a single module pertaining, I assume, to the entire questionnaire. Um, that doesn't quite work out because these questions may change depending on what symptoms you're talking about. So in module A, which is talking about major depressive episodes, you might have been taking drugs or medicines when you were experiencing those depressive symptoms. But in a different module, such as one pertaining to a manic episode, for instance, maybe you weren't taking any drugs when you were experiencing those symptoms. So the paper version of the mini, the fact that it only had a single module O that pertained to the entire questionnaire did not quite make sense. So for any module that called upon module O within its diagnostic criteria, I have added an individualized module O to the very bottom. So I'm going to say, in this instance, no, they were not on any drugs or medications. No, they did not have any medical illnesses. In, their cl in the clinician's best judgment, is either 1A or 1B likely to be a direct cause of the patient's disorder? I'm going to say no. And then, has an organic, medical, or drug-related cause been ruled out? Yes, I did rule it out. Okay, so this diagnostic criteria is here for you as the person. The computer automatically has taken these pieces of information, these criteria into account. I have them printed here anyways, so that you can make sure that yes, the, the computer automatically scored them correctly. Are five or more answers A1 to A3 coded yes, and is A4 coded yes for that time frame? All right, so I'll pop up here and say, okay, A1A was a no, A2A was a yes, which pertained to their entire lifetime, and A2B was a yes, which pertained to the past two weeks. So I have a one for lifetime and a one for current so far. Then this is the A3 and A4 for the current symptoms. That was it. one, two, three, four, five. So or four plus this makes five and A4 yes for that symptom. So this criteria is met for the current time frame. And we have for the past time frame one, two with no A4. So this criteria was not met for the past time frame, which lines up with a current diagnosis of yes and a past diagnosis of no. Was O2 summary coded yes? Yes, it was. And it, if A5 is coded yes, code yes for recurrent. I have A5 coded as NA, so recurrent is no. So yes, they had a major depressive episode because yes, they met criteria for a current episode. 
though not for a past episode. And not recurrent either. The only other thing that this particular module has is asking about how many episodes of depression they had in their lifetime. It's got a little eye that I could click to get more information about how to score that. So that's an example of one of the mini modules and the screener. There's a lot of variety across the modules. Some are more complicated than others or longer than others, but they all follow a fairly similar flow and style. That's all, and thanks for listening.